Hi guys, welcome back. So, um, today um, I am cleaning part of my pantry. I had a subscriber um, tell me how she has um, to clean out her area, but it's overwhelming and she doesn't know where to start. So, I said, why don't I do a video about that? So, the best way to do this and to tackle a big space that you have to organize is to just do it in one section, in, into sections, or set a timer for 15 minutes and just do it until you know timer goes off and you stop so but for me I I do better with just sections so um if you never see my pantry I'll link the video below how I cleaned it out but my pantry I'm, I'm blessed to have one <laughs> it's very small um it's very close quarter so um like right now my camera's sitting on a shelf but we're going to tackle this cabinet and I'll show you how it looks it's very disorganized as you can see I just have stuff shoved up there and so what I'm gonna do is pull everything out get rid of things I don't need or expired and reorganize it if this is your first time on my channel welcome thank you so much for stopping by um, please give me a thumbs up if you like videos like this and if you feel like this some you'd like to see more please hit that subscribe button down below I would love to have you as part of my G.S. Nadine family but with enough said let's start this clean up this mess When you are about to organize a space, the best thing you can do is pull everything out. That way you can see what you have and then you can start organizing. Because when you try to organize, you know, and just take little by little, it makes it more difficult. So I suggest taking everything out. And I'm just showing you that I'm going to wipe down these cabinets, which I did, I just didn't show you. So now I'm just going through everything. Um, some things were expired so I had to throw away. Or I didn't have a, um, or it was empty containers, which my kids are notorious for doing. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I always say shop your house first for containers before you go out and buy any, because there's so many containers in your house you don't realize it. Because like you can use mason jars or shoe boxes or even cereal boxes to make containers if you don't want to spend the money. Uh, to get containers. My containers came from the dollar store so it only cost a dollar. So, but um, yeah, shop your house first. trying to just put everything back in the bins. I washed all the bins because um, as you saw earlier uh, there was a molasses spilled all over in one of them so I had to clean that. So now I'm just putting like items together and when you're doing this sometimes things don't fit the way you want to so you kind of have to fiddle around with the bins that you have to make, every, to make sure everything fits the way you want to. So as you can see I switched out uh, my flaxseed meal into a smaller bin and um, put all my oils and vinegars in this bin. So you just gotta make it work. So this is what it looks like and it didn't take me long, it probably took me 15-20 minutes because I, I washed the bins. Um, so I just put light things together, um, I might label it, I don't know, but like I say, just do a quick clean up, 15 minutes, 20 minutes if you have it, just spend the time just to take one cabinet at a time. Pretty simple. Okay, so again. If you have 15, 20 minutes, that's all it takes and see the end result. I mean, yeah, that's not be perfect as long as you're happy at the end of the day like I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until we meet again, have a very blessed day. Bye.